Hi everyone, uh, another video for today and this time the topic is spirits. I've been asked many times to do this one but it's a very deep and complex topic to explain because there is a lot of debate what is the best but I'll give you my take on that. So first of all we have the spirit system that unlocks at level 220. It allows you to equip a companion that is also used in battle by using a skill and uh, it grants you huge bonus in stats which I will show you soon. So first of all if you want to get spirits all you need to do once this option is unlocked is to summon them. You basically either uh, roll with diamonds or with dragon lord tickets and spirits come out and once they come out you go to the warehouse and collect them. Right now my warehouse is empty and once you once you get them they drop in your inventory you go to the spirit and you select equip. Now I guess I already have one equipped on me Frost but I want to remove him for a second just to show you guys so you can either go from here and press equip and it will open the window and will instantly equip him in the battle slot. Or you can go straight from the menu to spirits and do the same by selecting equip and it will open the window for you. For all the spirits you have only in your inventory, not in your warehouse or in the Dragon Lord's warehouse. Now, about... Uh, the spirits in the game you can see all of them in the album as you can see you have a lot of yellow spirits uh, only five if I'm not mistaken blue spirits and and five purple spirits now at the beginning of the game most of the spirits that you will be relying on are the purple spirits and the best combo there is for purple spirits is the enchanted angel the elite demon the golden dragon lord and the gluten king by combining uh those four you will get a very decent uh bonus now let's say you get a yellow spirit and you want to start investing in it i will say right away it will take a while you need to be extremely lucky i was extremely lucky by getting exactly the yellow spirits I needed to create a combo instantly. Um, not straight away, it took me a couple of weeks, but um, the point is that I got super lucky, so I already have a four spirit combo, which I'll show you right now. But you ask yourself, yeah, but how do I select a combo that suits me or is right or is the best? So there is no best, but there is something that will kind of guide you on how exactly to select your combo so your combos are in the relations menu and here you can see all the combos there are now there are a lot of combos for for many situations but what's most importantly is that you will assemble a combo as soon as possible that means if you don't get all the four spirits to, co to combine a combo, try to make uh, as your combo as big as possible. What I mean is that if you can make a combo of four spirits that are purple but cannot make a bigger combo with yellows, don't go for the yellows, store, the, store them in your warehouse and wait. Now, if we will go to your uh, battle, you will see that you have a support, three support slots and one combating sl combatant slot. Now, if you click the question uh, mark at the top, you will see that there is a quick explanation and I'll just sum summarize it for you. If, you. if you put a spirit in your combat slot, you will be getting all of, all of its stats. You have basic stats and talent stats. The talent stats are random and are based on the rarity of your spirit. If you will, if you will look at the top, Sorry, there is a line of somebody getting a lot of stuff from killing a boss. So I will try to show it in a different way. Let's go over here. 
as you can see, my spirit has S rank. At the top right of the window of the spirit, there is an S with a, with a red background. This is the highest rarity you can get a spirit. That means you will get six talents, if I'm not mistaken, five or six, ta six talents, that the rarity of them var varies a lot, but um, they will be quite good. I have two S spirits, uh, S rank spirits. So as you can see, the stats are pretty good. But if you go and see the B, uh, B quality, you can see that it's not that amazing. And the C is even worse. So let's get back to the spirits window. And now I will explain why you want to uh, select a very, very specific spirit for your combatant. And first, let's start looking at the basic stats. So most of them comprise of physical attack, magical attack, physical defense, magical defense, max HP, and the last two always change based on the spirit. So Frost Essence, this one I'm using right now, will always have damage bonus and defense bonus. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the ratio is 3%, 9% or 5%, 7%. Something like that. 7% for damage bonus. Sorry, 5% for damage bonus, 7% for defense bonus. Um, don't hold me on that. I'll try to... No, it shows my spirit only. Let me remove it for a moment and I, I'll be able to show you exactly. So... If the game will respond, there you go. Let's select Frost Essence. As you can see, 3%, 9%. However, the Azure, uh, Azure Flame gets 9% damage bonus, 3% HP bonus. And Razor, 6 damage bonus, 6 HP bonus. And we have... Sun Scorch, 5% damage bonus, 5% HP bonus. So they always change based on the spirit, not the rarity of the spirit. Every spirit has its own set um, stats that will never change. This is, they will always drop with those. Now, when you select uh, a, a spirit you want to place in Combatant, ignore completely the talent stats because in the explanation it 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 says that you get 100% of your talent stats and only and if it's a combatant uh spirit you means the combat slot you get 100% of the basic stats but you will only get 20 20% 20 of your stats in your supporter slot that means that right now i have 11 11000 bp if I will remove my spirit and will place it in the support, you will see that I get way less. So the spirit itself has a very high BP, but it gives me much less. It gave me only 20% because it takes all the basic stats and removes them to only 20%, not 100%, only 20 So. You always will get maximum talent stats from all the spirits you, you put in, but you will only get 20% of the basic stats when you put them in the supporter slot. Now, I decided that I want to build my Diviner as more reliant on defense, so this is why I selected Frost to be my uh, main combatant. So, as you can see, I got about 2,000. Now well, I'll, I'll put it back in. It will be 11,000. So once I got the rest of the spirits um, and collected my full combo, I basically got a huge stat boost. However, what it, what is important is that whenever you get your first yellow spirit, make sure that you go and check the relations. Because as you can see right now, my relations are four combo and additional additional three combos that uh, based on only two spirits. 
each combo. So eventually I get damage, uh, double damage, ignore defense and attack from the four combo, damage bonus and defense, excellent strike and attack, attack and defense. Those are the main, main combo stats that I get. Now, if we will go to my spirits and we'll, we will remove the supporters. Just a second. This was my starting position. I got a yellow spirit and a bunch of useless spirits, per, mostly blues and purples. And I thought, okay, so what should be my goal? What four combo I want to make? So I went to relations and I checked what combines the best for how I want to play. Now, as you can see, you have combos that grants you 4,000 attack. Some even grants you more. 4,500 attack in the Ice Firestorm. And you have many, many more. Some of them, as you can see, grant you 45,000 HP, 42,000 HP, 47,000 HP, 47,000 uh, attack. What's important is that you first assemble, um, you first assemble uh, a combo of four spirits. Doesn't matter which combo, it's better than not having a combo. If you have the luxury of rolling as much as you like infinitely until you get the spirits you want, then you can be like, no, I don't want to make this combo, I want to make a specific combo. But it's important that you realize that until you don't have a four, uh, a four, spirit, a four yellow spirit combo, nothing really matters. Just make one. Now, as you can see, what I I have currently a bonus of all the four all the four birds. Um, so let's see where is it here. Wind of Genesis. This is the top left one. So I get double damage five percent, ignore defense five percent, and attack four thousand. However, I saw the Void Slasher, and I saw that they have ten percent double damage, which is a very very good stat on. A diviner, but I miss the flaming hoofs and the Inukami glare. So um, before I start planning on doing on, on getting the flaming hoofs and Inukami flare, I also want to see what else uh, I will get, like what other combinations or relations I will get from it. So if we will scroll down, we need to remember the two the two additional. Um, spirits we have in that combo. We already have Azure Flame, we already have Frost Essence, we're missing Flaming Hoofs and Inokami Glare. Now, there is Heavenly dom Domination, but it has God, and God is not part of the four combo, so I don't want to aim there. But if I'll go a little bit lower, we can see now the two uh, spirits combos that apply. So, with that, Without the four spirit combo, we also get a combo of two spirits, which is Azure Flame and Frost Essence. We get another one, which is Azure Flame and Flaming Hoofs, and we get uh, Frost Essence and Flaming Hoofs. And we also get another one, which is Flaming Hoofs and Inokami Glare. So we already have five combos compared to what I have at the moment, which is four only. So this is what I'm aiming for, but I'm still very, very far. Not Now, um, another important thing to mention is that people say that you should not invest any, any crystals, if this is how it's called, on anything but your uh, combat spirit. Now, while doing this video, I realized something. If you get only 20% to the basic stats, that means it is still something. So at a certain point, like mine, I need 26,000 to upgrade. That means at certain times, I get to a point where I need to wait two days to have enough crystals without spending money to upgrade my spirit. So I thought, hey, I can, 
upgrade the rest of the spirits now because it's cheaper if i will upgrade this one i will get something like 66 battle power but let's let's try this out i can upgrade any other spirit quite enough times because it's not expensive anymore it's like starting from the beginning it's pretty cheap so i feel like i'm lacking hp a lot of hp and i also see that all the three spirits grant me um as you can see here all all those three spirits that i haven't uh, leveled up yet grant me different sets of stats one Azure Flame grants me damage bonus 9% and HP bonus 3%. So subtra subtract 80% of those stats and you get very, very little. So you want to have uh, the, the realization that the better to select stat that you will see affecting you mostly. Now, damage bonus 9% is amazing. So if I'll start leveling up my Azer Flame till the point where it's already like a waste, I, I think you need to be like, if your main spirit is like, let's say 120, you need to be with the rest of the spirits at at least level 40, like third of, third of what your main spirit is. So I have damage bonus and HP, which are quite balanced. On Sun Scorch, it's pretty low. It's only 5-5, five, five, and I have 9% damage bonus. So I would take the I would take the balanced route here because I really feel like my character is lacking HP, as you can see right now. I'm on uh, I'm on 700,000, which is not a, where I wanted to be at this point. So let's go to my spirits and select one that gives me more so we have damage bonus hp bonus here six percent and six percent now remember the talent stats don't matter because you get the full bonus of the talent stats on the support so um all, the only thing that matters for the support is the basic stats because you get only 20 percent of them but it's still something so let's upgrade them as you can see, I jump by 14. That's already 28. 42. And I already reached 66. So one level at your uh, main or battle spirit, you get 66 from one level up. Here I got 66 from five levels. Of course, again, it's only fifth of what you get because it's 20%, but it's still worth it because if you don't want to wait for getting the crystals, upgrading your smaller spirits, still it's like one level up based on the stats you will get. So um, I'll put the rest in because this is the spirit I want to level up to at least level 40 at the moment. And I, and I squeezed a little bit of... Um, just a little bit of battle power. Um, another thing I want to mention is that if you really want to get a four combo, you should stop spending. If you don't, if you don't want to spend real money on the game, stop spending your pink diamonds until you get your combo. Save one thousand eight hundred. Go roll ten. Save one thousand eight hundred. Go roll ten until you get your combo because it's important. You get immense amount of stat points um i won't touch on the heart of spirit at the moment but this is um this is what i believe all you need to know about um this the combos now before we get to the star up each spirit has its own battle skill um, as you can see i have ice genesis um which is like a passive you can call it it's like the spirit always attacks. So when it attacks, this specific skill has its own uh, effect. And as you, as you can see, it deals damage equal to 100% of caster's attack. Now, not 100% of your total attack, which is buffed by many stats, but 100% of 
of your base attack, which is mostly comes from your stat points. And um, you also have an active skill. Now the active skill only unlocks at, uh, at st five stars. I selected Frost Essence because it has an amazing, um, an amazing skill, which is uh, release, release, releases a Frost Blast that banned the target for five seconds. Now, bans the target, I would assume it just not allows you to use any skill. And if you can't move, even better. But I haven't unlocked it yet, so I can't test, but it sounds good. For five seconds, it's insane. For five seconds, the enemy can't do anything. It's perfect. So, to star up your spirit, you need uh, those sacred stones, demonic stones, and spirit stones. To get them, you need to dismantle spirits or recycle spirits. As you can see, there is a recycle window, and you will always get crystals. Now, for the crystals, you get 500 from blue spirits, 5,000 from purple spirits, and uh, 50,000 from yellow spirits. The stones themselves are, uh, it's an RNG, random number generated chance. That means that it's not will always give you, but when it does, awesome. So save them. Don't waste them on purple spirits, although if you spend them on a spirit, when you recycle the spirit, you get them back. The yellow spirits are very, very, very expensive to star up. Because getting those stones, it's rare. Imagine just how many yellow spirits you will need to recycle to level up, just to star up just once. Because not every recycle, you will get a stone. If we'll check my my warehouse we can see exactly how much I got so far so I have only eight uh, purple uh, stones and 66 blue stones Th that means I recycled way 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 more uh, blue spirits than purple spirits so it takes quite a while this is the reason why I'm saving those eggs because if if we will take a look at the egg that drops from spirit realm we can see that it has a chance to drop many. Uh, well, actually only four, five, yellow, six yellow spirits, but also those. And my main um, hope is that I will get the stones because I have the spirits. I don't need any more spirits. It's nice to get another yellow spirit. It can help you out, but I'm here mostly for the stones because I need to upgrade my spirit. Every level up of or star up of your spirit will unlock additional level for the for the skill, the passive skill, and at level 5 you will get the active skill, which I don't know where it appears on the screen, but probably happens once in a while the spirit casts it. If anyone has it, you can you can leave a comment down below and tell me exactly what happens there. But it also increases your growth rate by 120%. That means that all the stats you have on your spirit, the basic stats, grow by 20% instantly. So it's like you get a fifth extra of whatever you have right now. And once you reach level 5, it's double, double of that. So... This is quite nice um, to get, but very, very expensive because as you can see, the numbers double at the cost. That means 5, 10, 20, then it's 10, 20, 40 or 10, 20, 50. I don't know, but once I'll rank up a yellow spirit, I'll, I'll be able to show it to you guys. So this is everything about spirits as much as I could cover. And um, I hope it clears everything for you in terms of that if anyone hoped to hear about the best combo or anything like there is no such a thing best combo it's based on your preference and if it was way more accessible to get uh, yellow spirits than 
we could just flip them whenever we wanted, but it's really based on, on, on a lot of luck. And first try to get a five yellow, sorry, a four yellow spirit combo, and then start aiming for something else um, that is better. As for me, I really want the Flaming Hoof and uh, the Inokami Glare, but till I get them, I, there is a lot of time. I doubt I will get both of them just like that. So that's it for today. Um, next video will be about accessories. Also, um, a little bit to discuss over there. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you want to see any other specific stuff and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.